starts here with the transport truck coming in with the car. And the drive will be unloading these shortly. And we'll be starting the process of checking them in. Well, the truck drivers will uh, unload them. Uh, these cars will, well, these trucks will have anywhere from, from uh, uh, 8 to 10 to sometimes even 13 cars per load. And sometimes they get them off without damaging them, and sometimes they don't. It just depends on the driver and how they're loaded. You can see how close they're, they're stacked in there in this picture. To give you some idea when these things are hauled, that it can easily be damaged because the way they're stacked in on the truck and how close they are to each other. Here's Jeremy with part of his job, which is checking in uh, cars for damage. And he walks around them, looks for damage on the vehicles, and if there's any damage, he writes it up. Okay, here comes, here comes Jeremy in with the bills off the truck. He's going to start the process of stocking them in. And that's what, part of his job also. Notice how hard at work he is there. Looks like he's uh, creating key tags. Key tags have to be created, window stickers, theft guard numbers assigned, and everything put in the computer. As the car continues its, continues its route through the system. And once Jeremy gets through with this, he's going to go out there and put those stickers in the car and put the theft guard numbers on. And then he's going to take those vehicles to the service department for a pre-delivery inspection uh, done in the Brady Buick service department. The cars, uh, once they're taken to Buick service, which is located over the far side of the property away from the detail shop, those cars are, after they're PDI'd, well then they're brought over behind the detail shop, which you see here in your picture. And the mechanics will park those vehicles along the fence, as you notice here. There's a row of new Buicks uh, that have come out of the, the uh, service department. They're parked along the fence there. Uh, they've done the PDI, and those cars are waiting for the package that we'll put on them, which will include uh, undercoating, fabric protection, paint sealing, and we'll be processing these cars that have come through the service department uh, today or tomorrow. Here's a view from the detail shop looking out over the cars ready to come in. We try to keep the new cars against the fence, back against the fence, and then there'll be a couple of lines facing this way of used cars prepared to come into the building from that direction. Now that scan around, so that's the employees parking on the other side of the fence there. Now the scan around, you see that we're in and in here two wash bays. Now the one with the car sitting there, the station wagon, is a used car. And we try to do all the used car prep work there in that left-hand stall. And then this open bay is the one we'll be using to do the new car packages that'll be coming through the building. These sprayers that are hanging on hooks there are what we use to, to dispense the, uh, the greaser and acid that are used to clean the car. There's one of the prep men. He's a used car prep man. That's his specialty. One of the world's greatest for that. And of course, First things like water hose and soap buckets and that's the way of hanging the mat to clean on a used car. As you walk in here into the detail shop itself, we have bays uh, to the far side of the building where guys will be doing various packages and turning the car. Uh, the shuttle there, uh, 
car, sir. That looks like about a 68 model. Why not? Has he got dual exhaust? Single exhaust, glass pack. That'll work. This looks like a hot rod shop. Is this a hot rod shop? Hey, Scott, let's go. This is a hot rod shop. 